So that was on the box. with my camera in Inez's room. And here it is on Devin's camera across from Hank's room in the bathroom. What was that? All a little bit stunned, we rush to find each other because it sounds like someone has fallen down the stairs. Was that you? No, what was that? That shook the whole place. I know. Where's Jeremy? Hey! Jeremy! What was that? I don't know. I don't know. That scared the shit out of me. Me too! I just said bang on something really loud so I can hear your push me. It's like, boom! Are you serious? Holy it shit. shook the whole place. Yeah, where the floor was shaking upstairs.
Best day. Best day. Best day. Jeremy continues to think that I'm playing a joke on him, but I'm actually in the main depot and nowhere near him. He texts me to come out. Best day. Hello? I know I got that on camera. I heard someone get on the train. Christy! And as you'll see here in just a minute, what it looks like when somebody's actually coming on the train. Hey, were you just getting on the train? What's up? In the very back? Oh my god, you should have heard this thing. Well, I was sitting here by myself and said if something's here making noise and it sounded like someone walked onto the train. And you know why it sounded like someone walked on the train? Because it sounded like when it, like weights press down over on the entrance, you can hear it on the left side, not not the middle, not the right, but the left side where the hallway is. <laughs> that freaked me out. <laughs> I was like, all right, someone's gonna try to scare me. And it's going to work, because I'm over here by myself. Something else I noticed when I was editing was a strange ball of light, which is actually a heat signature that shows up on the thermal camera. I've highlighted it so you can see it better. Now, I'm no clue what this is, but I guess that's for everybody else to decide. Later on, when we were walking out, we noticed the door handle looked like someone had grabbed it and left a heat signature, but it wasn't any one of us. Did you guys grab this door handle? Were you holding on to it? No. Kurt. From the inside? I didn't. No, I haven't touched the door handle. Kurt, you didn't touch that? No, I did not. Look at it. One side's cold, one side's hot. Yep. Like, how crazy is that? So if I don't have enough anymore, they have plenty. This light has plenty, this camera, all of this stuff. There's plenty in here. Look, look, look. It is moving. It's moving. Come on, you got it. You got it. Here's another look at the cabinet opening through the thermal camera. I bought all of this in here so that you had more than enough energy to use. So if I don't have enough anymore, they have plenty. This light has plenty, this camera, all of this stuff. There's plenty in here. It is moving. It's moving. Come on, you got it. You got it. We decide to go through the cabinet and see if there's anything in there like animals or anything that might give us an indication as to why this door would open. At this point, we're all just so astounded at what took place, not only once but twice and only on the command of when I asked it to. Even at one point, we decided that we would just film it as a train went by and see if it would cause the door to open. But in this next clip, you can see that it didn't work then either. Throughout the night, we continued to go back and try to get it to open in various ways. One of those times, Jeremy and I actually got a response back. All right, we're gonna go to the other end of the train. When we come back, can you please open the bottom cabinets and shut the top one, or one of them, just pick something. You can move any of them, we'll, we'll catch it. We had to record it on our film, so. Did you? Yes, I did. doing. 
Jeremy and I are trying to talk to it and it's just not even giving us any attention whatsoever. As we continue to just watch it to try to see what it does and try to interact with it, eventually off to the left you'll notice another form start. Sometimes they're like, oh. no. I'm getting some. What? Like in my mic. Did somebody just move out there? Yeah. I just like, moved the cord. Did you, you do it again? The cord? Yeah. Devin, do you have, did you have a light on? Yeah. Put your light on and have him do the cord again. Have do what? Like, turn your light back where it was, and then do the cord, move the cord again. Hmm. I definitely saw a shadow like on Jeremy, but I'm not getting it now. Try the same thing you were doing. I was stretching for a second. And he stretched, did like toe touches or something. Yeah. Just keep doing it and mess with that light and see if I get it, because I'm not getting it. I don't see it at all. Oh. Nothing. Is it around Jeremy? It was on his arm. Okay, you guys, do you have a light on over there again? Just the camera, but we're, we're 15 feet from you. Move, Kurt. Devin, move. Jeremy, that is like three times now I've seen a black shadow moving behind you. Behind me? Behind you, yes. Yeah. But Devin wasn't well. Wow. We were playing back, and this used to be my shirt, but I felt like it was being tucked for a slight second, and it was probably just me moving. If there's somebody in here, move behind Jeremy again. Every once in a while, it sounds like chatter going on. And okay. if you're like in a, a mess hall, 
Like a like ambient noise? Yeah. Background ambient noise? Like you're in a cafeteria? Yeah. And then when you were asking earlier, yeah. If they're, God, I don't even remember what you were asking. Something about touching my hand. Yeah. It was like something was talking over you, was saying what you were going to say at the same time. Like Weird. you're saying it twice. Like over anticipating a, a question. Is it echoing? If nothing else is echoing, it was just that one part. How many people are in here? See, I just saw a shadow on Devin. Yeah, that was definitely a hand, but Jeremy, pull, move your, wait, Devin, go back where you were. Jeremy, move your hand up and down. Nothing. Turn a little bit and try to get the shadow on us. Go more in front of Devin. You got it? Was that doing it? Nope. Nope, nothing. That's either. See, I see Devin's shadow on the back wall. When you when you move your arms, I could see your shadow on the back wall. Well, he was like turning, but it well, couldn't have been his arm, I don't think. It's like an old fuse box. I feel like something's touching the top I of my head. I know, too. Okay, that was a cold draft. Feels like something was touching the top of my head, right? I meant mine. Said yeah, I said it, he said it, and then you I, mean, I, was, I was just feeling my head, and okay. when I put my hand down, she said, something's touching my head. And then you said that. That was a cold draft. Yeah. yeah. Did you, felt did you pick it up on the thermal? I kind of felt it through the door, kind of, when it went through. See, and I just saw a shadow on your arm. Again. Who is down here? My name is Joe Moore. I'm from Omaha, Nebraska, and I'm uh, I'm, ready to, uh, I'm going paranormal. I think maybe that there's paranormal things out there, but. I don't think that we can see them. And that's why I'm going on this trip. I want to I wanna see something that I can't explain. My biggest fear is, is that I will see something that I can't explain. And that kind of terrifies me. If I see it, I believe it. I came upon the s in the room in the hall and uh, went into the first room there on the right. I hadn't been uh, I had no backstory really on the room at all. Uh, but I was just kind of standing there talking, and uh, as I'm standing there, I'm holding the camera with my right hand, my left hand just hanging, and something grabbed it. Something, I, I don't know, I can't explain it. I wasn't standing close to anything. I was about, it's, 
well as I can tell, foot away from the nearest object. And, uh, shook my hand, and it's one of those feelings you can't shake. It was almost like I could feel it there for another five, ten seconds. <laughs> Felt like something brushed my hand. Shake that one. <laughs> that one in the pocket. <laughs> I made my way to the room next door. Um, I recognized the room from photos that I had seen and descriptions that I had heard. Oh no. I do not like this room at all. I like your coloring books, though. You've got good taste in food. Pizza, tacos, peppered steak. Good handwriting, too. Donna, was that your name? Is your name Donna? Tell me your name. As I'm standing there, kind of just having a small conversation with uh, the room. Uh, the best way I can describe it is something brushed the wall behind me. Whoa. Ugh. All right, I'm out. Okay. I jumped. I probably squealed a little bit. Um, I, I can't lie, it was uh, a little nerve-wracking. I wanted to run. My first instinct was to just get away. Uh, but I uh, was luckily able to slow myself down. But after that, I didn't spend too much more time in the hallway. Yeah, I can't be down this hallway without a light on. Not always by myself. It was honestly more power walk down to get back downstairs. Christy and I first got onto the uh, train car and um, we're kind of looking around and I'm videotaping different areas of the train and right away I'm starting to feel like something isn't right and um, we're setting up equipment and start hearing noises from the back of the train.
standing there still, hearts pounding. I don't know what to think. I can't even believe what's in front of my eyes. First thing I can think of is what's going to happen next. And um, I don't think I've ever been that scared in my life. So much it just opened by itself. And it wasn't like a swing. It was like slowly like it was being pushed. No wind, no drop, nothing was inside of it. I'm going over my head trying to explain why is this cover opening enough so. Um, and immediately up the CI. I'm freaked out. I don't know what to think. And we, you know, I'm like, Chrissy, we gotta get out of here. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> freaked out. All right, let's go. Oh my god. Did you just see it? Something? What did you just see? Oh, I just felt something like almost like a push. Right when I turn around, I'm holding the camera and all of a sudden I feel this push, almost like, like I was being pushed back into the kitchen. I almost lost control of the camera and everything. I, I couldn't even, I felt like I was being pushed back into the kitchen. Then at that point, I'm like, I'm freaking out. I'm like, we gotta get out of here. And it was just, it was crazy. It's something that I've never experienced in my life. And it's something that I can't explain. I'm trying to go over it, over and over in my head, and I just, there's no explanation as to why. Right, let's go. <gasps> oh my god. Although I don't exactly know what happened to Liz, I do know for her it was a life-changing experience. I'm scared out of my mind. My heart is racing. We watched the cabinet door in the kitchen open by itself. We didn't touch it. There was nothing else there. It was just opening it by itself. Awesome. It's the scariest thing I've ever done. You ready to go back out there? Not really, but I'm going anyways. <laughs> That's awesome. What? Something just fucking touched me. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm flipping my shit right now. Let's quit it. Either say something or quit it. You want to stand right here for a second? Where are you going? I don't know. Do it to Jeremy. Touch his face or something. Do something. I hate it when people just do shit to me. Do something to this guy. He deserves it more than I do. He wants it. Tug on his shirt. Flip his hat up. I don't care. Just do something. The first time I've ever really seen her that nice. Not usually too smooth, but that was something that's just got that kind of hand. Yeah. What's up? Utterly scared right now. Just cuddled up, I'll be all right. Are they in the basement? Why are you here? Are you in the basement? Is that where you're feeling scared? Yeah. Alright, hey, where are you guys at? Laundry room. What the? Hey, Did you guys hear the conversation between the little girl and the guy? Okay, hey, what the fuck? I am sorry, I'm like, is there a conversation going That's on? That's why I asked Something you. Is just okay, what is it? It's definitely like... Like, like the little girl, like she said, having, Dad, and she said, help me. Like they're having a conversation. Oh my God, I'm getting so bad right Wait, now. Look at my arm. I'm getting it Chills. right now. I got good lips. Yeah. Goosebumps. Yeah. Three spears hurt. It's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. That's just what we're here for. Yeah. Wow, that's crazy. We all got goosebumps right there. Okay guys, so this just happened and we're rewinding the tape. I'm gonna press play in a second. We actually haven't watched it on this yet. Devin saw it happen on the screen, but we were all standing downstairs. This is after Jeremy leaves Sally's room. This is right after I put that frog on the ball. I yeah, there's a frog up the there. He came downstairs. We've been looking for some stuff because we were all gonna go upstairs and, and this is what happened. It'll be a, maybe a minute, minute and a half before we see it, I don't know. We're not really sure, but. It's coming up any second. I just want to see it now. I'm so like, it's probably going to freak me out. Keep 
watching. It's about. It's keep coming. Keep watching. Right it's now. coming in a second. What do we say? By 26. Here oh my gosh! There it goes. It's after it's sitting up there for five minutes like that. <laughs> Let's go take a look at it. All right. I'll bring you guys up there. Let me. Uh... Just sitting on this. That was Devin. You can see how sturdy this thing is too. I mean it, it doesn't move very easy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah, that's nuts. It looked like that ball wanted to go. Alright, that bunny's gotta go. So that's what it looked like when I left the room. So if you're still here, move that ball again for us. All this, we're moving all around up here and it is not moving, so. No, I mean, we can. Viva, Benito, the deeds with people. We'll set the bunny off. <laughs> That's it. So if you guys are just tuning in, watch the beginning of this video and you can watch the monitor and you'll see that frog move off the ball and the ball go rolling. There was nobody up here. I'm telling you, if you watch that video, I mean, this is me stopping to grab. 